Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday. We need to talk about more flips, upcoming opportunities to trade with the Weekend League Rewards period coming up tomorrow. And uh, actually tonight, tomorrow, however, whatever time it is for you, Thursday at, um, what is it, like 6 or 7, 8 a.m. UK time is when they put out the rewards these days. For me, it's overnight, so I honestly don't know what time it is. I just know the market starts to rise overnight into Thursday and Friday in this phenomenon which we call Thursday flipping, weekend league flipping, all that good stuff. So I want to talk about it today and how we could possibly invest for that still tonight, uh, still today, still tonight, and how we could possibly see the market moving um, and how much I could see the market moving during this promo. So we're getting a lot of SBCs right now. We were supposed to get a middle icon SBC today. They put it in the code. They took it back out. I know that people are on high alert for that SBC right now, especially because they have this SBC uh, still in the game, an 82 to 87 rated upgrade SBC. For whatever reason, EA felt like they didn't want to drop the icon upgrade SBC at the same time as this one. Uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. I was hoping that we would get the 82 to 87 upgrade and the middle icon SBC or baby icon SBC, but we didn't get either of those. Um, I would still expect the middle icon SBC to come out though soon. Since it was put into the code, I think it should re-enter soon. And if it doesn't come out in this promo, maybe during team of the season, it could come out um, or they'll just randomly drop it. But it is weird that they didn't decide to put the SBC out but they still put the 82 to 87. By the way, this SBC is very, very bad. It makes sense to do this SBC because it basically costs the same thing as doing a gold upgrade pack, um, but they're just not, they don't give out good stuff from what I've heard. So if you've gotten good stuff from this, in theory, this would be a good SBC to do if you wanna stock your club with some middle to high rated golds, uh, but it seems to be the pack luck is not very good at all. I think I've had better pack luck on this 80 plus player pick upgrade than people have had in the 82 to 87 so far from what I'm hearing. So we are ending the middle to end of foot birthday though, time-wise. Uh, if you look at the, the time that they have, I don't think it shows here on this screen, but these cards are in packs for another five days. Um, so they will go out of packs at the end of the weekend. It's a 10 day promo. So Monday at 6 p.m. UK is when these cards will officially go out of packs. Now a lot of people wanna know, when do I buy my foot birthday cards if I want one for my team? And I think there's gonna be kind of two buy windows. I think there's gonna be a buy window tonight. A lot of people are gonna to wanna to buy these cards after weekend league rewards. Um, they're gonna get packed, yes, that's true, but I still think they're not gonna to fall too much because they've already fallen a lot. If you actually go over here onto the good old website of flipping.com and we take a look at some of these prices right now, a lot of them are down. Um, some of them are up a little bit right now because it's nighttime. Van Dyke was 370 at one point today. Koulibaly, 92 rated. This card at 170K is very intriguing to me um, as a CDM. Marcelo, 500K. Salah is around 300. Um, Aubameyang has dropped a lot. He's 567. That interests me. Um, Walker's back up. He was under 300 today. Witzel's pretty cheap uh, for a Bundesliga center back. Uh, Monier looks good. Martial looks good. He has a lot of supply though. There's a lot of each and every one of these cards has kind of its different um, pros and cons to it. Either it's an, uh, a position that's already taken up. Like a lot of people, I don't think a lot of people want this left wing Mbappe card because on the left side you're using Neymar, right? So why would you use Mbappe? Maybe some teams people want to have him up there. Maybe they want to have that Griezmann at the right wing, another French striker up top. Maybe something along those lines, but. Like, I don't see as much value in that card as I would other cards in this team. The cards that I see in this team that would go up the most after Weekend League rewards, in my opinion, would be a Marcelo, um, would be an Aubameyang, maybe a Sun, maybe a Martial, a Moynier, and I think Pavard. Pavard has uh, a pretty high pack weight. I see a lot of them on the market, but I think a lot of people are buying this card and they're using it for their teams. And even though he's an 86 rated, if you look right now on Xbox, he doesn't have that much supply. I know it is nighttime, I know it's later, but we get to the 59th minute and four pages of just comparing price, and he probably has how many pages in total? Maybe nine or 10, 11. Looks like there's a lot of people listening overnight. So there's 11 pages in total on the compare price for Pavard. I think he's really bringing some competition to the Hikimi card uh, that is in the game. Uh, that card has dropped a lot, which that card could be a good investment, again, 
for this Witzel. And I do think we need to look at some link investments. That's the next thing I want to move into. Link investments to some of these foot birthday cards. And when you think about link investments, you want to think about other special cards, um, either Team of the Weeks or other special cards in the game that would link to some of the more popular cards that people are going to pull uh, maybe from their weekend league rewards, from their division rivals rewards, or just cards that people are going to want to go and buy after this promo. So, you know, you don't want to link to a card that nobody's going to use. This Van Dyke, uh, the Van Dyke Striker card seems to not be very popular, even though he got a very interesting stat boost. He has so many other special cards, and people just want him to play center back. I don't think a lot of people want him at center defensive mid. Now, this Witzel is interesting to me. He's very cheap. He is arguably the best or one of the best center backs in the Bundesliga. Um, getting a, a link investment, as I talked about, like a Hakimi linking to this card would be a decent shout. And he's very affordable, too. 145,000 coins. I saw Hakimi under 100k. Let's see if he is still there. Um, he is 110k. So he dipped under 100k today at one point, I do believe. Yeah, right here, 100,000 coins during the day-to-day. Uh, so that's one thing to watch. If we do see him drop back down close to 100 again, I think that's a screaming, screaming buy because he is, um, obviously he was sold off a lot this week. If you look at the daily graph, he's been sold off a lot because of the Pavard uh, because this card right here definitely um, provides some competition at that, that right back spot in the Bundesliga, but you do have a nice Witzel card to link with. Other investments that you could link to, this Martial card, there are so many United fans, so I'm thinking the Lingard center tack in mid, the um, basically any United card that is up top. I don't know about a, maybe a Paul Pogba gold, um, a Rashford inform, or a Rashford special card would be one that people want to pair up with Martial. Um, other cards from this list, I'll pick one more that I had on my mind, and I'm spacing on it right now which one that was. I'm spacing on which one that was at the moment. Uh, Monier, I think, is pretty good. Aubameyang, I think, is pretty good. Um, and I think this Marcelo might be sneaky good because he is so rare on the market. And this is one thing that you'd be able to tell is a lot of people like this card because of how much it fluctuated early on in the week. He would go from 520 to 560, and he's very rare. Um, you see that right now. He only has three pages on Xbox. So that's a pretty rare card. And I think a lot of people want to use these cards because they are boosted, they are cool, uh, and they are pretty good. But getting away from the foot birthdays, um, flipping in general this week, I think is going to be pretty good. Because if you look at the market index 100, we're going to head over here and look at the index 100 really fast. The market is still pretty low. And you're going to see if we, when we look at the daily graph here that um, the market has risen up earlier this week when the promo first dropped. It was 54 points. Now we're at 63. But the entire rise of this market has come from the index gold. So it's been all the gold cards are up, the SBC golds are up, and that's what's making the overall market rise uh, that much. Basically, you see the gold market go from 56 to 63 on its own. That's bringing the index 100, the entire market with it. So special cards look low to me still. You can, again, on a, th a Wednesday night, like we always talk about, go through uh, the team of the weeks and look at cards that are low, uh, cards that are used, cards that are rare. Like this team of the week is very rare. So a left wing Coman, if he gets down to 60k tomorrow night, could be a solid look. This nine Golan is actually up a decent amount, but these cards are just show, so rare from this team of the week that they fluctuate a lot. Go through these team of the weeks, look at some graphs, look at the headliners, look at the FFS cards, um, look at just popular meta cards that people want to use in the game. And I don't think you have to be focused on just the cheap stuff this week. We had a lot of packs this week. Um, there were a lot of SBCs that came out, but I don't really think that a ton of people are doing SBCs. I think people have coins liquid right now because they want the big icon to come out during this week. And that's one thing that I want to point out uh, that could really change weekend league rewards. If you go all in on weekend league rewards, I could see EA doing this. Maybe we don't get anything big today in terms of icons, in terms of content on the game. If we don't, the green light is there for weekend league rewards, but I'm going to say be careful because all it takes is EA dropping one SBC on Thursday, one prime icon or middle icon upgrade SBC, and the entire market goes down big time. So if you're doing flips, um, that's one thing that I want you guys to keep in mind. If we don't get anything too huge today, Wednesday, when this video comes out, I would definitely expect 
Something a little bit bigger to come Thursday. They're going to wrap it up into the weekend. They're going to know everybody has their rewards on Thursday. Um, and whether their motivation is to make people lose coins because they bought their team earlier after rewards and they're going to sell at a loss when the new content comes out, or they're trying to, you know, just make people lose coins in general by crashing the market, by putting out something big like that. Um, that is a possibility on Thursday, I think. We could get the big icon, we could get a, get a big SVC for the rest of this promo. Um, on Thursday. So that's one thing to keep in mind. One last thing I have not touched on yet. I mentioned it going through Team of the Weeks here. As you're going through Team of the Weeks, um, we're going to get a new Team of the Week today when this video comes out. And we don't really know what it's going to be based on because there was international play this week. There were international games. But one thing is, it's looking pretty good. It's looking like there are going to be a lot of good players in this Team of the Week. And since we don't really have too much of a clue and I haven't seen people talking about it, one thing that could be affected this week is link investing two popular players that get into Team of the Week this week uh, based on their uh, performances for their national teams because there are a lot of national uh, team games this week, a lot of cool cards, and that's just another thing to look out for for link investments this week. Um, if you find special cards that even link up to any of the new SBCs that are out. I like this Gabriel Jesus as a link investment for Weekend League this weekend. If I see this card at like 380, or under, I'm going to buy him because I think this weekend league period, he's a decently rare card on the market, not in packs anymore, and he's, he's really new, so he still has the hype, and everybody has that Willian in their team now because a lot of people did that SBC. Um, I think this card could hit 450 um, on both consoles very easily, so that's why if I see him get too far under 400, I really like this card, and a lot of the Carnival cards... Um, they rebounded nicely from when they were panic sold last weekend. So Immobile, Muller, Bonucci, Yoris, and Alderweireld have stayed very, very high. I think people are liking those cards. Even a Bellerin, a Pulisic, he, he uh, moves around a lot. Um, Williams as well, Icardi as well. So a lot of these guys have the opportunity to be good weekend league flips. But again, we have to be careful with this market because EA are dropping SBCs every day. We don't know what they're going to drop. So. Again, just take it easy with your with your weekend league flips. Be smart. Focus on the cards that are out of packs because even if we do get some type of massive SBC, those cards will drop less. Um, just because they're out of packs, they are uh, special cards that people will eventually buy back into their team. So we might see a panic sell uh, and all that. But weekend league rewards does look promising this week because I think the market is still very low and people... Um, we haven't got a lot of good SBCs. People have coins, and when people have coins, they want to do stuff with those coins. And this week with the SBCs we've gotten, I think people aren't doing too much. I think they're sitting on those coins doing an SBC here or there. But none of the icons have been any of the big guns that we really, really wanted to get in this promo. Um, the, the best icon so far being Mateus. Uh, and that didn't even come right away during this promo. He's already been, He already came out. But... Um, you know, we're depending on what we get the rest of this week is really going to make or break the rest of this promo. So with that in mind, if you're getting your weekend league flips, be careful with them. I think we want to get out before Thursday at 6 p.m. UK. Um, and if nothing comes, then maybe we buy a little bit more if the market doesn't go up as much. And then we have all the day into Friday at 6 p.m. UK to sell the rest of our investments. So again, every single week, there's kind of a twist on weekend league rewards. But I think this week, it's going to be a nice rise in the market because uh, of just the lack of incredible, uh, breathtaking content that we all thought we were going to get during this promo. It's just been kind of eh so far for Foot Birthday, besides the cool cards that are in packs. So if you want to get these Foot Birthday cards, my recommendation is if you want to ride them out for a long time, a couple weeks after this promo, wait until the Weekend League is over. Wait until the Weekend League sell-off. I think you're going to see a lot of these cards, especially if we get a big SBC, get pushed onto the market as the promo ends. But some of them are going to get very low Wednesday night as well, so there might be an opportunity to flip or to get them at what could be their lowest price. All depends on what comes out content-wise for the rest of this week. So if you enjoyed the video and the information inside of it, smash a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, there's usually a lot of questions around the weekly or the weekly flipping, Thursday flipping period, just because there's a lot of possible scenarios and so many different cards you can invest in. Uh, so ask them down there if you would like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.